KSAT 12, Me TV, Texas Sports Productions Game of the Week will feature the Brandeis Broncos against the Warren Warriors tonight. This will be our second live broadcast of high school football in San Antonio on our 12.2 Over the Air channel. The Broncos are coming off a lopsided 33-7 win against neighborhood rival O'Connor last week. That's after their game last year was called off due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Meantime, the Warren Warriors lost to the fifth-ranked Smithson Valley Rangers 32-13 in week one, but for facing Brandeis this week in a non-district game. What's important about facing them is that we just execute what we want to do and that they're a pretty good team. Their running back is pretty good. We have to shut him down. Just keeping these kids positive, you know, through these first three games and understanding what it means, I think is the most important thing. And, and uh, you know, our coaches have done a great job of staying positive with our kids and we're going to continue. Uh, and we got a great team and, you know, I look forward to continuing to watch him grow. Kickoff between Brandeis and Warren tonight is slated for seven at Gustafson Stadium, and you can see it live on KSAT 12's Me TV, thanks to Texas Sports Productions. And don't forget to join us on our Big M coverage app this week for live broadcasts of Texas high school football games in and around San Antonio, courtesy of Texas Sports Productions. This week it will include games such as Judson versus Lake Travis, live from Austin. For the first time ever, the UTSA Roadrunners will face a Big Ten team when they play the Illinois Fight in Illini Saturday night. As many as nine Roadrunners are on preseason watch lists, including starting quarterback Frank Harris, running back Sincere McCormick, and safety Rashad Wisdom, along with kicker Hunter Duplessis. The Roadrunners also boast 12 super seniors who were granted an extra year of eligibility due to COVID-19 and will help UTSA try to win their ninth season opener. They feel they have the guys and the toughness to do it. The triangle is going to travel, and the expectation is very high. Said high, we you know we expected of ourselves last year's last year, but we held ourselves to a higher standard at the end of it all. Um, I believe that you know uh, coming into this game, our, uh, we coming out with our hairs on fire. So I think that it's going to be a great game, and you know overall we're going to have a great competition. Kickoff in Illinois is set for 6.30 p.m. Saturday, and the game will be carried live on the Big Ten Network. Staying with UTSA, the women's soccer team is on fire right now. Last night, Kendall Closa, seen here, netted her second goal this season in the 32nd minute, leading UTSA soccer to a 1-0 win at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the fourth straight win for the Roadrunners this season. They're now 4-1-0, the best start in program history. Conference USA goalkeeper of the week, Jill Schneider, earned her third clean sheet of the season. UTSA will play at Texas Tech Sunday night at 7. And last night in USL Championship Soccer, San Antonio FC beat Real Monarchs SLC 3-2 at Toyota Field. Club's sixth win in their last eight matches. And how about this? SAFC goalkeeper Matthew Cardoni became the second player in club history to reach 100 appearances in all competitions. From San Antonio, right? Yes. MacArthur? Pretty darn cool. Wow, that's awesome. Good for him. Yep. And like to see UTSA ex expand their greatness into all different kinds of sports. Their athletics definitely, I feel, trending up. Yeah, well, they got that new facility over there. <laughs> yeah, all right. Of course, they are playing Texas Tech Saturday, so even in soccer. Right. Oh. Go UTSA. <laughs> Fun finds, water activities for Labor Day weekend, and maybe even a little hot chocolate. Mm. Fiona and Jim, what's on tap today? I tell you, yes, we are getting you ready for some family fun this holiday weekend with some water games, fun finds, and even some birthday freebies. So we are going to be showing you some inexpensive ways <laughs> to cool off. Ooh, you're lucky that <laughs> wasn't full. We're having some fun. Also, September is such a busy birthday month. Well, if you were born in September, there's lots of birthday freebies you can take advantage of. We have those local deals. And we are learning to make traditional milk uh, traditional Mexican chocolate on today's show. So Tyler Barra, owner of Cafe Azteca, joins us. Now there's a little bit of a twist, yes. right? So it's got the same ingredient that you use to make tamales. Okay. Which is Azteca. Yes. Okay. Super excited. And speaking of coffee, that thing makes me think of fall. We have your five fun finds, and that includes a place that you can go enjoy a Texas maze this weekend already. Maybe that'll help make it feel more like fall. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yes. And also, we are doing. Oh, yeah, right. There we go. There we go. There we margarita go. or pina colada? We want to know which one is your go to. You know, it's National World Coconut Day. Which one's yours, Fiona? We'll I think gotta about tell it. you, think about it. I Let like us both. know at SA Live Case app on Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. And we'll have all that more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. 
All right, last look at your forecast. Very low chance of a couple downpours for the next couple afternoons and then mainly just hot through Labor Day. Late in the day Monday, I think especially Monday evening and Monday night, we could have a couple of pop up showers and storms and then more low and rain chances through the middle of next week. Guys, thank you so much, Katie, and thank you for watching the news at noon. It's Fiona and Jen today. Was she holding up a, like a big glass of something? It was a margarita, I think. Is that what that was? I hope. I wonder how much is left in it. We'll see. They say live starts right now. <laughs> All right, well, fun events and more. We're sharing our SA Live fun finds as we head into the holiday weekend. Splish, splash, water games you can do from home. We're giving those a test run today. Freebie alert. If you're a September baby, you can take advantage of discounts and deals this month on your birthday. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Oh, we have the perfect blend <laughs> of stories today on the show, and it's a whole latte fun coming at you. Oh, I love the puns. Right? I can't take credit for those. I'm just <laughs> reading them off the sheet here. But hello, and happy Thursday. I'm Fiona Gorostiza. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske filling in for Mike Osterhage today, and fall will be here soon. It doesn't feel like it, right? But with the cooler weather and Hispanic Heritage Month around the corner, we have a very special guest today. Yes, helping us to prepare to enjoy both is Tyler Ibarra, owner of Cafe Azteca. Thank you so much for being here. So we are making traditional Mexican recipes. Yes. Okay, which one are we making first? So first we're making champurrado. Okay. So it's Mexican hot chocolate. Okay. Um, the ingredients are really simple. You have uh, your abuelita's hot chocolate, your tres leches, which is whole milk, condensed uh, and evaporated milk. And you have your piloncillo, cinnamon sticks. And the special ingredient that makes it champurrado atole is the maseca which is what you use to make tamales and corn tortillas. And oh. what does that add to it, would you say? I know we it's, have some here. It's like a corn flavor. So like when you taste it, you'll taste the, you'll taste the chocolate for sure, mm -hmm. but then the corn kind of like comes in at the end. It's like a toasted um, flavor to it. I love the yeah. traditional flavors that you're adding in yes. here. So I guess we'll give this a yeah. try, right? and so And so depending on like what you add to it, could it be like a meal? <laughs> yes, I mean, you could. In Mexico, it's pretty thick. Yeah. Here, I don't add too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. You've nailed this. This is amazing. Let's talk about Cafe Azteca. It yeah. started oh, wow. five years ago when yeah, you were so at we Texas turned State, five, right? Yes, so we turned five in May. Uh, I was a student at Texas State University. Mm -hmm. um, I worked for Starbucks, and uh, I had a gentleman uh, tell me, if you could do this for other people, you could do it for yourself. So that kind of threw me off my course, and I started while I was at Texas State. Yeah. Wow. And, so, and you also teach classes. Uh, like on Airbnb, tell I us, do. Tell us what, how, how that works. Yeah, so on Airbnb, uh, we're the, we were the number one experience uh, in uh, San Antonio. So people, when they come to visit San Antonio, they'll book us. And so our experience is learn how to make coffee the Mexican way. Um, so we do Café de Olla classes and Champurrado, depending on the season. And I, I didn't know I wasn't familiar with these classes, but yeah. you're telling me people even from Tokyo so have, it's cool. have taken Yeah, them? so people from, we've had people from all over the world twice. It, it's crazy. I think uh, our number's up to like 3,000 people that we, in the past wow. two years. Um, even pre like during the pandemic was really, um, it kicked off um, in May. And so people um, from Tokyo and Australia actually sent us pictures of them and their family making this in, I think, Sydney oh. and... Uh, I want to say it was in Tokyo, wow. uh, in Japan. So then it was cool because they sent us pictures. I was like, "Is this? Could this be the first time <laughs> this is made in these countries?" So, wow. yeah. And and that's what it is. Is you kind of found an, a niche, right? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I, I think it was it started off as a niche, but I think now it's become accepted right. by the whole coffee community. So now you start to see more uh, recipes of culture or like in coffee shops. So that's kind of cool. Right. So, and yeah. that's why you started. I mean, that's mm. why it's because I mean, necessity is the mother of invention, right? Correct. Okay. And now, so where can folks go for more information on you? So you can go on our Instagram, Cafe Azteca, or on Facebook, um, or on AztecaCoffeeCo.com, and that's where we'll have all our classes, or on Airbnb if you're local. Um, you can book classes that way as well. And your go-to coffee yeah. drink? Because this is amazing, yeah, by thank the way. You, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's black coffee. Just simple just black simple. coffee. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and what's the secret to that good, it's the roasted beans, right? You said these are really fresh here, Yes, so right? we actually get coffee from Mexico, so Chiapas. Uh, so we focus uh, on just Mexican beans. So we have Chiapas, Guerrero, and Veracruz. Um, and so that's kind of where we get all our beans from. Okay. And so if, what's this for you? What's the secret to great coffee? I personally love fruity coffee, so Ooh. as long as it's not burnt, okay. I, I love, I'm a coffee nerd, so I love <laughs> the coffees that bring out like the floral notes, um, you know, the fruitier stuff. So the one 
um, that we have today is from Chiapas, so it's kind of lemony. Um, and so it's it's really cool. It's like a lemon brown sugar. That's so oh, like, you can kind of pick all that up. It's kind of like wine, that's, right? It's exactly <laughs> like wine. It's cool. Yeah. You can pick it's that exactly up. Like I just tasted yeah, yeah. really like, good oh, stuff that's, here. Yes, yeah. that's great. Exactly like wine. Yes. <laughs> but that's how we are with wine too. Right. right? I mean, I just, it just tastes good. Just yeah. like it all it. tastes great. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course. Oh, I love and that. where are you located so people can so go visit? So we're located at uh, 502 West Mitchell. Um, uh, by it's on the corner of Mitchell and Proban. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, for more information on Cafe Azteca, just head to our website, salive.com, where we've provided a link. And later, we're going to be learning how to make a Cafe de Olla from Tyler. Ooh, yes. OK, so Tyler, you talked to us about this coconut water coffee thing earlier. Well, it is World Coconut Day. So we are asking today, we're going to go ahead and put a twist. Thank you, John, mm -hmm. Fiona. OK, I think I sipped this one. I'll let you have that okay, one. Thank but the you. question of the day is, Margarita or pina colada? Ooh, if you had to We're pick. looking at Margarita. you. <laughs> Margarita. Margarita. Okay, I go pina colada. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love them both, but I only go pina colada if I'm near the water. <laughs> like like on vacation, any day, staycation any time. without the yes. water. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let us know what is better, pina coladas or margaritas at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see which one wins out yes, later on in the show. Amazing. <laughs> but we're counting down now to the Labor Day weekend, and so we thought we'd share five fun finds here that includes events and just really cool things that we've seen lately so yes we start with sweet berry farms yes it's opening this weekend and there will be a texas maze and hay rides too feel like fall yet well they are definitely helping and you can still pick your own flowers and feed some goats pumpkin painting and patches will start on september 18th so don't expect that just yet but you know we are it's getting close y'all it's getting close mark in the calendar okay here's a really fun find and i'm sure you guys have seen this it was on the noon news as well but my brother shared this my brother's a police officer and it just blew my mind at first i thought no that's the same same guy the rock there nope this photo is still making headlines look at the similarities it just very built the same. That's, that's so and cool. And what's so cool is the Rock. Dwayne, the, the Rock Johnson tweeted, "The guy on the left is way cooler." So yeah, I think he said he wants to have tequila with him and share Rock stories. What do you think, Fiona? Oh is my, it, that's what, is it the angle? Is it just what? How? It, it's like they were separated <laughs> at birth. I like. I, There's somebody out there that looks like all of us, right? Maybe? No? Right? <laughs> they say you, you've got a twin somewhere. Well, he found his. Okay. Well, here's one of those fun. Um, TikTok finds for all you couples who can never decide on what movie to watch, the struggle is real, <laughs> DateNightMovies.com is a website that allows you each to put in your movie pick and then it combines them and shows you recommendations based on both your interests. Definitely worth a try. See, cool? we're solving your problems for you right I, here, I wonder, right now is it just show. based on the year, you know, because I see some just, anyway, that's really cool. All mm -hmm. right, give that a try. Here locally, we had to share some of the newest fun items over at one of our favorite shopping spots, Felice Modern. Aren't those adorable? No, that's not a pack oh. of tortillas. That's tortilla coasters, and it's one of their newest products. And of course, you can look at that. Look, doesn't it look like a tortilla? People are going to accidentally <laughs> eat them. Okay, <laughs> you can pair it with a beautiful tortilla warmer. They also have those they have so many things. Gift idea, or maybe you just gift yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Just, no, that, those are two. <laughs> very San Antonio. Two cute. <laughs> All right, here is another Puro San Antonio fun find. Our very own Steve Spreester shared this photo of a viewer that gave him a Guayabera inspired face mask. And this is from Guayabera Novella Boutique based in Mexico. And it even has a little. A <laughs> Pocket. So cute. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I love that. And I love that he shared that. Yes, oh. yes. I had to ask him, Yo, can we share this? This is adorable. <laughs> but yeah, based in Mexico. So people are asking, where can you get those? Isn't that cute? Yeah. Adorable. All right. Well, for all that information, you can, of course, head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. But later in the show, we have a birthday gift for you. If you have a September birthday, we're gonna share a variety of freebies and discounts from local businesses that you can enjoy on your special day. And next on the show, cheers to brunch cocktails. Artisan Craft Bar is shaking up some of their customer favorites. And yes, they have brunch too. That's coming up on FA Live. It is a thirsty Thursday today, but one way to enjoy the Labor Day weekend is not only with cocktails, but also with a great brunch. Yes, 
And joining us, ladies and gentlemen, direct from the bar over there at Artisan Craft Bar is none other than owner Nick Spink. Welcome. Thank you, you always bring the party yes, with you. Yes, thank you. Okay. So what drinks have you brought? Because we've got some some finished versions here to, to show. We have some great pairings with some uh, brunch uh uh, foods and stuff like that. Um, do you just want to start making the drinks? Yeah. Yes. Let's That's start twice. Right so <laughs> paired with the waffles and blackberries, we're actually going to do a blackberry whiskey smash. So it's just a couple uh, blackberries uh, mm -hmm. putting into the glass there and muddle it down, just squish them on down them, sort of like making a, a jam, I guess. Okay. And a little bit of the sugar infusion. Um, so just pour a little bit in there. In here? Uh-huh. Just straight in there. A little more. Oh, wow. There you go. And then we have a little bit of orange bitter. So just two shakes, that little bit of bottle. Yep. There you go. Perfect. And then let's just pour, free pour the whiskey. Okay. So this is a six month old bourbon that we actually make on site. So just free pour it on in there. You so tell me when, keep going. Keep going. Wow. That's good. Okay. And then we're putting it over ice and giving a good shake. Yeah. Just to chill it down real quick. And now, the keep, the the yeah, but keep the glass over the top. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. And then shake it up. So <laughs> good. besides the blackberries, what makes it pair well? Well, this is sort of like a heavier food with a heavier food. Uh -huh. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, it's a heavier food with a heavier food. And we, you'll see a little bit later uh, that we're going to do sweets to sweets. Okay. So this comes Ooh, up with a great cool. color and great flavor and stuff like that. And like the waffles, I mean, that looks like a perfect combination. You can do this at home. It's really easy and stuff like that. But we are doing a uh, starting brunch weekly. And this week we're starting it noon to four o'clock and we have a lot of we're pairing up with variety foods which is good. there's some great breakfast foods mm. so foods this is on the menu we this is on the menu oh, yes how cheers. is it you like cheers. that, cheers. Taste that the next, one, next one we're going to do is a vodka mimosa or a vimosa okay so in the champagne glass we're going to put vodka okay so not as much as a keep going there, <laughs> there you go and then that's good and then orange juice okay and then we're going to top it off with a just a cider that's good then we're topping it off with a cider. This is a just a non-alcoholic uh, cider. You can do champagne at home if you want. And then this is going to be a pomegranate mimosa. So just a little drizzle of that in there. It really changes the color well. Perfect. Woo! I love the color. So, and so yes. that pairs really nice with pairs with, with that. I mean, uh, this is a light and bubbly and stuff. So it's really neat. So Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Yes. Mm. yes. Okay. And then I got to start this one. Right? <laughs> yeah. So this one. So this. <laughs> excuse me. This I is called this. the Belmont. All right. So this is with our gin that we just released. So go ahead and put about two or three ounces of gin into that shaker. And in that shaker, we already have some ice. And this is a really nice dessert one. So we're pairing it with a banana um, pudding. So then Ooh. put a drizzle of the raspberry puree in there. Okay. That's good. And then whipped cream. So about two ounces of whipped cream. In, oh, yeah. in there. Okay. Into the drink itself. It's such a pretty looking drink. Oh. Okay. And then put the top on it and shake, shake it, up. it up. Tell people where you're located. There you go. We are located over at 402 Austin Street. Okay. So uh, really near downtown, uh, between the Pearl and downtown. That's always my favorite. I know. That's always my favorite. I'm shaking. Like, <laughs> and there's so much. Thank you. There you go. You. And then there's your strainer right in front of you. <laughs> Usually I have Mike do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Free the drink. Oh, and this is really, really nice. And this oh. is like a nice dessert thing. You don't even have to have the <laughs> banana pudding with this. You can just take a picture of that. That's gorgeous. Yeah. It's, oh it's, it's a gorgeous Those drink. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make a really cool one over there. So too. we also have a really good, you like that? <laughs> yes. We have a really good uh, michelada. So this is a spicy mango michelada. Mm -hmm. And we make everything else uh, in-house. So we actually are doing a clamato mix here with this. And then... It's just not Clamato mix. Uh, we do a little Worcestershire sauce. We do a little Tabasco sauce. This is spicy, so we do a little jalapeno and serrano, and then mix it with mango. So this is a spicy mango. And then we haven't forgotten the beer, but we do have to mix this up a little bit. So it's like a slight nod to a Bloody Mary kind of sort. What's a michelada? Yeah, mango. So right? it's a mango michelada. Yeah. Which I've never heard of, which is cool. So, I like the little twist on that. that. Okay. And again, Thank brunch, you. you can take advantage of this. Where can people go for more information to find so out more? So artisancraftbar.com yep. or Ooh. SA Live. Cheers, Fiona. You got three Cheers. drinks. I, I got I, one. I know. I don't know how that happened. You <laughs> have these. SALive.com for more. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> All right, we have more Java coming your way. Cafe Azteca is making a traditional cafe de olla with us.
And much needed work breaks. We do a few stretches that you can do in your home office to keep your body moving. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Labor Day is around the corner, and for all of you who have been working from home, we have some stretches you can do while sitting in any chair. That's right. We caught up with an athletic trainer, and she's sharing a few moves. We may even give those a try, but first, take a look at how easy they are, and she's doing them from home. Take a look. My name is Dania, and I am a former Olympic athletic therapist and strength and conditioning coach. So what are some stretches that you're going to share with us today? Yeah, so we're going to tackle five easy moves you can do in a chair. So whether you're at work or you're at home or you just want something quick you can grab, these five moves are going to tackle the main areas we get tight or restricted or we often even forget about, which a lot of us find ourselves in these positions, right? So we're going to kind of help open everything up and improve our posture. So first thing, you're going to have your hands kind of by your side and if it's comfortable on your shoulders, bring them behind your back. Now you're going to roll your shoulders back and open and then you're going to try and pin your elbows together. If this is enough of a stretch for you in your chest, stay here. If not, and you can lift your hands off your low back and try and pin your elbows together even more to stretch out that tight chest. So from here, make a double chin with your neck because I like combo exercises. You're gonna tuck your chin to your chest and then you're gonna rock your left ear to your left shoulder and then your right ear to your right shoulder. And you can spend as much time exploring here. You can look up towards the, the sky or the ceiling both directions but really just try and find where you're holding tension in your neck and just hang out hold it for 30 to 60 seconds releasing your tight chest and your neck tension and what this does is help alleviate the low back neck and shoulder because when upper back rotates well the upper the low back and neck can actually do their own job we don't have to work extra hard so first things first arms up nice in front of you and you're going to keep your hips and feet flat and knees facing forward and then you're gonna try and open up your upper back towards one side. So if I'm going to the right, I'm gonna try and get my right shoulders and left shoulder both to face that wall and then come back. Working on increasing your range of motion each time, trying to feel those muscles in your upper back really open up to face that side of the wall. And you wanna do about eight to 10 of these per side. Now from here, from the side you can see, I'm gonna hinge forward from my hips. So I'm gonna keep my whole spine one move and hinge forward without arching my back. Now, from here, you're gonna bring your palms in front of your face so you can't see. Elbows are touching and pinkies are touching. Keeping your back nice and long, you're going to bring your arms back behind you, trying to press the back of your hands and elbows behind you. Now to make this harder, you can grab soup cans or weights or water bottles at home. You can even hinge a little bit further, making sure there's no back pain. But this really helps strengthen our deep neck flexors, our upper back and low back muscles, which are really important for our posture. Okay, we've got two more. So we're gonna stretch our glutes. A lot of us find we have tight glutes. So what I want you to do is make sure your chair doesn't move. Sit on the very edge of your chair. You're gonna in your left leg for me, and then you're gonna cross your right ankle over top of your left shin. Now drag that right ankle all the way up so it's above your left knee. If you can't do it just with your leg, use your hands to help assist or a band. Then if you feel a stretch here, you can stay or drag your left heel along the ground now until you feel a nice stretch in that right glute. If you wanna feel a stretch even more, sit nice and tall. Press your right hand against your, left, your right knee and just push it towards the ground a little bit. And to make it feel more of a stretch, you can hinge forward a little bit. You're gonna to slide to the very edge of your chair so that one butt cheek is on and one butt cheek is off. So left butt cheek's on the chair, right butt cheek's off. From the side angle, you're gonna be able to see, you're gonna slide your right toe back behind you. So your right knee is underneath your right hip. From here, I want you to pay attention to my hips here. So this tends to wanna be arching like this. I want you to roll your pelvis backwards and squeeze that right glute to really feel that hip flexor stretch right happening through here. So if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, Imagine your hips are a bucket of water, and I want you to try and pour the, the water out the back of the bucket, right? So it's just this very slight pelvic movement that's gonna help elicit that hip flexor stretch. From here, you're gonna reach your right arm up and over to feel a nice stretch from your lats, your tight obliques, and your QL, cinch to the side of your body. And you can hold this area all the way for, again, 30 to 60 seconds. 
and then simply repeat other side. I want you to, whoever's listening to this, don't be discouraged. You can always pick up movement and do anything regardless of your age, ability, athletic ability, size, it doesn't matter. Your body is designed to move. And the more you give it just a little bit each day, the better you're gonna feel and the less chance you will have at risking for injuries, aches and pains down the road. All okay, right. you know, it, and you know, what she said is so right, because yeah. if, if you have to move a little bit every day, and I really do notice when I don't yes. do even something as simple as this, mm -hmm. and just like roll yeah. your neck, you know, yeah. and you start to really notice that through the day. See, yeah, and, exactly. And, and yeah. she mentioned, our guests are doing that <laughs> over here. Yes, and okay. she mentioned really good for people who have back pain mm -hmm. too. So the one that I like that I've been doing is the one where you go like that, and then you, Oh, that's right. Uh, and mm -hmm. and Julia, my daughter, was doing it too. And she's like, that really does feel good because we forget to stretch. Yes. How does that feel? You like that? Oh, one? yes. <laughs> and then the other one that we wanted oh, to yeah. try she had was the straight that back. one that she was like. Like this, like oh, yes, peekaboo. Yes, yes, yes. I just kept thinking peekaboo. Oh, yes, yeah, slow. Okay. <laughs> and just as far as you can. You should see can. our photographer so that I hear. Peekaboo. <laughs> Trying to give it a try. That's how I'm going to so, remember yes. that one. Yes. You know? Yes, and she has so many on her website, which we have on essaylive.com. So you can go on there. If you have any back pain, there are free workouts you can do from home. See? <laughs> yes. Anybody can do right? it. Right? Way to go, Ted. How does it feel? <laughs> oh, it probably feels really back. good because he's go. always holding that heavy camera. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Don't forget to oh, take a break. Now he's from dancing. Work. Take a break, guys. <laughs> do your stretches. Good job, Ted. <laughs> All right. Cool off with the family this Labor Day weekend with fun water activities you can play at a great price. And we have another brew tea bowl segment from Cafe Azteca, and we are making Cafe de Ola. I can't espresso how much I love coffee, but let's just say these segments with Cafe Azteca are mocha me very happy. No? Ah, no? Huh? Ah, Enough puns? You know it's making me happy, these coffee <laughs> puns, because they have been out of control. <laughs> ah, stop it, joining us again is Tyler Ibotta, owner of Cafe Azteca. All right, what traditional Mexican recipe are we making now? So we're making Cafe de Olla. So it's got, think of it as a Mexican French press. It's got cloves, anise, cinnamon, piloncillo, and orange peel. Oh, wow. And of course, our Mexican coffee that we roast in house. So put a little bit yep. of this Go in ahead there. Go okay. uh, pour the coffee in there, and then just mix it. Okay. And it smells like fall. If you guys could smell it at home, it's really good. Don't mind. Oh, that is do. no oh. joke. Yeah. Very oh delicious. my goodness. Tell me so about the blend and yeah. what it brings out in the coffee. Yeah. So it's kind of like a coffee tea, if you want to think of it that way, just because it's real herbally. So it's got the Ooh, cloves, the yes. anise, and the the um, the orange really comes out. Um, so when you add the coffee, it's like a, it's like a French press, but you mm. strain it out. So this it's is all really you good. Need right here. Yeah, no cream, no, no sugar. No cream. Well, it has it has piloncillo, so that's what that's the sugar that okay. you taste. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you've you've served some of this coffee to celebrities, right? Yes. Uh, it's crazy. So five years ago when we started, I never thought I'd meet some of my heroes, um, and so we got to serve coffee to Mana. Uh, Canelo, um, so that's, those are really cool experiences. Tell me about yeah. yes, Mana. yeah. So yes, Mana was crazy. Right. Yeah. How so did that even happen? <laughs> I, I had, it was cool. It was really cool friends that invited me. Um, they took me backstage, and so three years prior, when I had, uh, I was just starting out at Texas State. All I had was a coffee pot and a table, and I Ubered uh, to get me and my mom tickets, and that was a cool experience. So then three years almost to the day, um, I had a friend that was like, "Hey, do you want to meet Mana?" And I was like, "Of course." So at this I guess part of my coffee career, I have, um, I had a, a coffee shop, and I went and took coffee to Mana, hung out with them, and I got to, I, uh, you know, tell them the same story I'm telling you guys. Hey, three years ago, I saw you on concert, and so it was really cool because um, Sergio, the guitarist, said, "Hey, what's your favorite song?" And I said, "De pieza cabeza." So he kind of like goes like on the stage, and he kind of gives me the head nod, and he just starts to play the riff, and that what? was the coolest thing ever. Ah, yeah. I Oh my goodness, yeah. how does that make you feel just to know that they love what you do? Your yeah, coffee. it was crazy just hearing the encouragement that they kind of gave me, you know, being able to connect with them in Spanish and uh, just meeting them. I mean, you never think you're going to meet your heroes as a kid uh, or even like when you start out doing these things and the Canelo thing was crazy. Uh, we didn't get to meet him because of COVID, but uh, he got to, uh, we got to send him some coffee and uh, send him some good, good stuff and he gave us tickets and um, mm -hmm. some, some merch. That was really cool. Okay, and so, yeah. so I mean, when you smell some of these coffees, and you were talking, uh, you know, in the earlier uh, segment, that it's 
it's like wine. You can pick up on Correct, yeah. the notes. And I think Go for this it, one yeah. is, what do you pick let's up see, on? I think like white peach. I think mandarin. I'm thinking, you know, maybe some chocolate. Am I close? You're close, yeah. Oh, my yeah, gosh. 100%. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what happened. I just read 100%. What, That's why. <laughs> that what, is what why. the flavors were on this bag right here. Yeah. I can't. It just smells good to yeah. me. <laughs> That's good. It would ever help. He's yeah. like, how did you get that? 100% yeah. she's, a, she's a coffee yes. connoisseur. Yeah. Yes. If you need a job in coffee, we got you. Yeah. As long as I got cheat sheets right there, yeah, we're good to go. But I mean, like th th those are amazing. Those yeah. flavors together are amazing. And the experience, you said people taste this and it takes them back to memories, right? It, it's crazy. So we give the classes and um, the, the thing that really kind of impacted me was hearing the stories of like, hey, Miko, like, I haven't had this in like 50 years since my grandmother passed. And I was like, just these connections that kind of, I'm able to bridge the gaps between the generations yes. um, and between um, just different cultures. And so that's really cool for me to be able to uh, share what we do um, through coffee and chocolate. So that's really neat. All right. I've seen that video. So tell folks where, they're lo where you're located. Yeah, so we're located 502 West Mitchell. Uh, it's on Mitchell and Provent next to Confluence Park. And you're yeah. opening, right? What's next for you guys? Yeah, yeah so uh, we're actually opening our first uh, Café Azteca uh, outside of the state of Texas. What? Yeah. <laughs> How does so, it feel? This is awesome. It feels crazy. Like, I, I, it's the craziest thing I've ever done. And so we're excited. So it's a little bit of everything. Nerves, uh, excitement, and just kind of happy. But very cool. Very cool. We wish you, of course, all the best. Thank we you. can't wait to have you back on the show. For more information on Café Azteca, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. Mm, and thank you for the coffee. Yeah. It's of course, delicious. Thank you guys. All right, later we share birthday freebies and discounts to local businesses for the September birthdays in your life. And inexpensive ways to keep your kids entertained. Please sign me up and keep them cool too this Labor Day weekend. weekend is just a day away and with us living in South Texas well you know it's gonna be a hot 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 one. Oh yes. So we decided to share and that's why we're dressed like this by the way. Totally. Some fun inexpensive water games to keep you cool and well we looking have, cool we, too. Yeah I mean. we look pretty darn cool right now. <laughs> we have to admit. I mean All right. the best. So water balloon hot potato well you know that's pretty self-explanatory you're just gonna throw the water balloon back and forth until somebody uh -oh. drops uh -oh. it okay. and gets a refreshing splash of water. Here we go. Ah! Why am I so scared? Ah! Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with water balloons. No. My kids love them. Because it's on the air. Okay. Some okay. air. Okay. Ah! There we go. Um, All right. Feet. There we go. Good okay. Job, All right. Now we also have next a sponge race. Now, what exactly is a sponge race? Well, you fill your sponge up with water, as Fiona's doing there, and then you see who can fill up the water cup. Or oh, bottle. The or fastest? The fastest. And again, you get most of these items at your local. Okay, ready? HGB. Yeah, sure. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> so it's got to be filled all the way and you got to refill. Okay. I got it. I got it. Oh, you win. Okay. Oh my gosh. I was soaked with water. Perfect. Okay. All awesome. right. Next is the uh, water gun bottle fill. Okay. Yes. So we've got our. We've got our cups right over there. The first person to aim and fill their cup, well, I guess with the most water in a certain amount of time, uh, wins. Oh my gosh, Ted, uh, you're in the line of fire. I'm just gonna, ah, okay. Here we ah. go. Oh no, okay, well, hold on, I gotta back up. Oh, sorry, Ted. I'm not gonna, and yeah, Ted, right here. Ted, this I'm so bee. okay. This bee keeps messing with me. Okay, we got, we're probably gonna need to measure in like milliliters or something. Hold on. Oh, I'm really trying hard to aim here. Well, uh, the safest place to be is where I'm aiming. This Hold is, on. This is cool, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all, we're, all we're doing is we're succeeding in getting Ted, oh, there we go. Ted wet. Okay, hold on. Come on. I'm trying really Come hard. On. You can't tell. Oh, this is, uh, yeah. I now, if you're playing this with your family. I am right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we filled the tray. We filled <laughs> We filled the tray. I'm, I'm gonna... Yes, you filled out of the tray. It's full. Why don't we just try and knock down the cups? All okay. right, Ted. Okay. No, they'll take right, down. Ted, you need a poncho. Okay. I know. <laughs> All right. And another fun thing you can do is. Water. What are we doing? Water, water balloon target practice? Water balloon 
target practice. So for this, you can do a, oh. use a hula oh. hoop. You can make a, you, you can use tape to make a target. In our case, guys, we are gonna use this bucket, so I'm gonna move this. Oh no, that's just an obstacle in your way, and Jen. <laughs> here we go. Woo. All right. Oh. Ah! Nope. Okay. nope. Okay. Here we go. And I love that we have all these water balloons. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So this yeah. is, there we go. no Good. doubt. Yes, okay. Uh, oh, around it. <laughs> I mean, kids me would be so one. incredibly oh, entertained, nonstop, <laughs> trying to get. Oh, you got one. Oh, we got one. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yeah. big splash. Let's <laughs> try for one more, come on. We water balloons. Here we go. One more. Oh, oh big splash. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. nice, Jen. And Ted, we apologize. I know. I know. So oh, again, God. these games, super inexpensive. You can play them in your backyard. You don't have to wear ponchos like us. Okay. Okay. We're moving on to the next game. All right. It is ice ball bowling. And okay. Lovely to do too. So we've got us. some the bowling pins set up, and you can find these giant bowling I'll pins like at Walmart. You know, um, even H E B has these kind of giant ones. Okay. Okay. And okay. we're gonna be Here you go, Fiona. We're gonna be bowling. Got your ice ball. Oh, with some ice balls, okay. Here we go. All right. Oh, that's nice and cold and refreshing. Yes. Yes. Get a strike. Yes! Yes! Um, a combined effort for a strike. There you oh go. my goodness. Okay. All right. Here Ooh. we go. Hold on. One. I'm gonna see if I can do this one more time. Let's say one more here, have, look out, Ted. We have another game, Fiona, too. Go for it. If you hold the end of this towel uh, and, uh -huh. I, and we put the balloon in the middle, we can see if we can make it in the bucket. Here. Oh, okay. So you hold the end of that. Okay. And then we put this here. It's in the middle, and we're gonna Let's toss see if it. we can do it, right? Okay, one, two, <laughs> two, three. Oh, no, we gotta, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And the palm tree, tree down. down. Okay. Palm tree down. All right. Well, <laughs> I hope you had fun watching this. <laughs> this is fun. No, this is lots of fun. So again, inexpensive games. Yep. You can do. Thank you to our producer, John Fiona. Oh yes, you're on fire over there. SALive.com for more on all of these fun, inexpensive water games. Because you know it's going to be hot for a while here yep. in Texas, y'all. Just click on the as seen on SA Live Town. Woo! Yes, Perfect. and we're gonna end on that. All right, well, we are helping you make those birthday plans. We are gonna share a list of local businesses offering discounts and freebies. Well, the month of September is a popular month for birthdays, and we want to give everyone a chance to celebrate their birthdays with a free or discounted oh, gift. You're yes. welcome. Yes, take advantage <laughs> of this. We reached out to a variety of local businesses, everything from free desserts to discounted plants. Oh, yes, please. First on the list, one of our favorite local bakers, Chef Dario Ariano of Dario's Bakery, located at Study Space off UTSA Boulevard. He is offering 10% off your birthday. Dario, Dario makes all kinds of pastries, including birthday cakes. He's made my daughter's cakes before and my son's. They're always delicious. Wedding cakes as well. And if you have a sweet tooth on your birthday, be sure to stop by Dario's Bakery. He made Sloan's first birthday oh, cake and it was um, amazing. Yes. All right. Next, Chica Verde specializes in all manner of porch, patio, yard, and home decor. They even have uh, cacti and succulents in festive pots for accents, and they are located off of San Pedro. The next time you visit them looking for new fall decorations, make sure you mention your birthday. Chica Verde is offering a 15% off discount and free unpotted plant while supplies last until the end of September. So if you're lucky, guess what? They may even sing happy birthday to you. Don't worry, I, we won't. I love sing. Chica Verde. Oh my goodness, take advantage, guys. Speaking of beautiful plants, Tillage Plant Shop off Lamar Street is offering 15% off one regular priced item during September. It's a trip to tillage on your birthday will be a journey like like a journey to the amazon look at all those plants oh my gosh i love shopping there it looks like a tropical jungle lots of 
photo opportunities, plus a new plant is a great way to spruce up your living space this fall, add to the room, you know, it's it that good is, energy, you it's, know? And it doesn't matter that it may not be that large, like, you know, just those small yes. little plants, if you just have that, you mm. know, like what you gave me for my birthday, yes. that tiny little yes, plant, Fiona. that really does help just kind of yes. lift your spirits yes, while you're does. sitting there, you know? There's, and there's a code on the screen, so go and get you a plant. <laughs> Next, Sangria on the Berg, located off Fredericksburg Road, has a combination of Texas barbecue and Mexican spices on their menu. And let's not forget about their cocktails. Mm. Sangria on the Berg offers a free birthday dessert all year round. So not just for the month of September, if you've got a birthday, anytime. So treat yourself to a savory birthday dinner and a free treat. Oh, those are nice, the all year round deals. Mm -hmm. All right, last but not least, the Alamo Biscuit Company off Hebner Road is a great spot to stop for birthday brunch. Ooh, yes, I love brunch. And the best part about this local panaderia is they also offer free birthday pan dulce all year long. Oh, all that's right. so great. All right. Just have to remember, just remember <laughs> that, you guys. Yes. Don't say we don't take care of you on your birthday because we <laughs> You do. have to remember, exactly. <laughs> I always forget. All right, for more on these local businesses, head to salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab. We have all the links there for you. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, they were voted best mangonadas in town but and the best place to get a pickle treat. We check out the dessert that made this family-owned snack shop go viral. You're going to want to see this. Ooh Plus, have you seen a grill like this? We are transforming your barbecue and your backyard with this one-of-a-kind way to grill. We're getting ready for Labor Day, and let me tell you, that food was amazing. That's tomorrow, 1 o'clock, right here on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. So earlier, we asked you, do you prefer pina coladas or Ooh. margaritas? And Lisa Ann says pina coladas, delicious on a hot day. And that looks that like yummy. Beautiful. It even has the umbrella. I love it's the just umbrella. an instant vacation in a glass. Yes, take me there, Jackie. Pina colada Woo. always and forever, really. All right. Mary Helen, younger me would say margaritas, but older me says pina coladas. Yeah, they're a little I'm easier. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you, Mary. Okay. Oh, again. Mm -hmm. Yes. A hot day, you can't go wrong, I agree. And Fiona, which one is your favorite? I'm drinking it right now. This is the Pina Colada, Shy. so cheers. Cheers, it's a Thursday, Thursday. <laughs> All right, we'll tune in again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll be here at the same time. Ah!